Most people in the world are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return with having. What I usually encourage people to do is to follow some good book for their life philosophy, for their life faith, for their concept of God. Because people who have a concept of God recognize that they are not the Lord of anyone's life but their own. And yet there are people, groups of people, communities of people that will go out of their way to lie about someone who's speaking the truth. If there weren't, we wouldn't have the educational history point of Watergate today. We wouldn't have had the, apologize to the girl, Monica Lewinsky's of the day. She actually outed herself for inappropriate conduct, and it blew up on her life. She's eventually come out of it, thank God, because she deserved that, just like you do. You screw up, you learn from it, you move on. But there are people who are never allowed to move on in life. Because family or friends or society or communities or municipalities say, you're not going to have a life here. Well, let me ask you something. Who gave you any information on them at all? Who gossiped or who lied or who did what not to ruin a life? You see, America is supposed to be about live and let live. And that is acceptable until someone crosses the line and starts killing people harming people, stealing from people, abusing people, sexually assaulting people, raping people, molesting people, and lying about their rights to interfere with someone's faith. 